Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we discuss scientists suggesting an alien spaceship may have crash-landed on Mars. Scientists have claimed that an alien spaceship may have crash-landed on the surface of Mars after they spotted strange pointy protrusions on its surface. NASA's Curiosity rover in April photographed what looked like rows of spikes, plates, and wedges which protruded from rocks lying on the 96-mile Gale Crater's floor. NASA Ames Research Center and Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence Institute's astrobiologist Dr. Natalie Cabrol said that it was the most bizarre rock which she had seen in her 20 years of studying Mars. A new paper has now been published in the Journal of Astrobiology, which concluded that the formations might be sand spikes, which are similar to those which get formed on Earth in waterlogged sands when earthquakes of magnitude 7 and greater hit the surface. Similar kinds of rock formations have been seen in the North Alpine Basin of South Germany, which is linked with the 15-million-year-old Nordlinger Rice Asteroid Impact Basin. However, Researchers caution that a fragment from an extraterrestrial or terrestrial spacecraft cannot be discounted with absolute certainty. Pointing out what looks like wheels, an axle, and a debris field photographed in a different part of the Gale crater. The authors said that over time a similar debris field connected to the spikes may have been eroded. Prof. Richard Armstrong the first author of the paper who works at Aston University, Birmingham, speaking to The Telegraph said, There is no way of proving for certain what the spikes are, but the balance of the evidence would suggest sand spikes, resulting from seismic activity on Mars. I suspect the enigmatic wheels are a separate phenomenon. Mars images often show strange formations and features which look like familiar objects. Similar kinds of rock formations have been seen in the North Alpine Basin of South Germany, which is linked with the 15-million-year-old Nordlinger Rice Asteroid Impact Basin. Any debris field on Mars would certainly suffer erosion over time, especially from wind, he added. In the journal, the authors have stated, given that possibly 10 or more craft have crashed upon the surface, coupled with the jettison of equipment associated with landing the rovers, it is possible the spikes and its substrate are human-made and consist of debris that fell onto the surface of Gale Crater. Nevertheless, no debris field is evident and no evidence of any additional debris that may have originated on Earth. Given its small size and that there are no known human-made analogues and no logical explanation as to what purpose these spikes may serve, it does not seem likely these specimens are the remnants of craft or equipment that fell into Gale Crater. One can only speculate about extraterrestrial origins, they added. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.